Hey everybody, this is Shanita. Thank you so much for tuning in to uh, this video. I want to take the time to just say thank you, you guys. I've been so overwhelmed with your welcome backs and we missed you and I'm so glad to see you. I cannot tell you what that has meant to me. There are, I mean, by the time I get through some of these messages, I am tearing up. You know, you think that's things that you're doing on here for fun, that's just a good time. Um, I'm just sharing my products and hair care stuff that is just this little blip on your radar in your life and that, you know, if you do it, fine. If not, no big deal. And I know you all could very well do without me. There are tons of other influencers out there who make fantastic videos, but just the response, and there wasn't a ton of them, but every single one of them was so heartfelt that I realized, you know what, sometimes these little things are bigger than we think they are. For me, I'm just talking hair care, I'm just talking videos, but to some of you, this may be, you know, something that you're really learning that's helping you in your hair care. It may just be a reprieve from real life. It may be entertaining or whatever it means to you. I just want to thank you so much for welcoming me back and for being so warm and so kind. I feel like I'm going to, oh my gosh. Okay. Um, it just means more than you know. You know, it feels good to be missed, right? I just didn't think of it like that. It never dawned on me that anybody would even realize I was gone. So thank you. Thank you so much. I don't even have the words to express what I feel. Just know from the bottom of my heart, every time I read one of those, there's like this fullness in my spirit that is just like, this is likely more than I think it is. So for that reason, I am going to uh, continue recording regularly because you just never know. Sometimes you just never know what, what makes a difference for people. And so um, having that cosmetology license, I really, really, really want to give you guys some information and some things that I've learned that I don't want you to have to go through the uh, hard time of learning and learn from my mistakes. I do things I know I shouldn't do. Uh, sometimes I do things that go against what I know because I heard somebody else say it. And so I've got tons of experience here and I hope that it will benefit you uh, today and in future videos. Okay, that is that. Let's get to the fun stuff. So I promised, how many times did I mention I am going to record a hydrating leave-in video? That I am going to come on and tell you about all of my favorite hydrating leave-ins. Um, I can think of at least five times I've said that, but today is the day. And I just want to make a disclaimer before this, because I do believe at some point I said that I could give you my top five hydrating leave-ins. And I went to choose the top five and it probably turned into top 10. So I'm just apologizing up front. These are not going to be in any type of order. I am not going to say this one is the absolute most hydrating. This is what I would use second. This is nowhere near my leave-in stash. I just wanted to come on and as I was going through, um, I just grabbed those I know work for my course type four thick hair. They never let me down. I know I can pick this up. It, it's going to act exactly like I expected to. Totally predictable and it's going to be a very good base for moisturizing my hair for uh, that wash day. And when I say about the hydrating leave-ins also, the other thing is I use these on wash day, but some of these leave-ins I also will use as a refresher. Uh, when I, during the week, if I feel like my hair is not dry, it doesn't need to be re-moisturized totally, but it could use a little something, like <laughs> there's something, it may still look shiny, it may still look good, but underneath it feels like something's just missing. So I can use either of these leave-ins and add it right on top of dry hair, as it is. Just take a section, rub some of this, leave in through it, retwist my hair and go. Okay. That is how I, um, 
judge my hydrating leave-ins. If I can use it on dry hair as it is, and I don't have it to, you know, cake up, add too much product where there's tons of buildup, it's not gonna leave any kind of cast or dull or dryness. It just absorbs right into the hair. That is what I call hydrating. It is a fantastic base for absolutely every wash day. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking. Cause this is not gonna be as short as I thought it was. Um, before that, last thing, I promise, this is the third thing, but the final thing before I get in there. Um, before somebody asks, this hair, Lord help me Jesus. This is the one week old hair from the video where I showed you of my Product Junkie Naturals Honey and Hibiscus uh, Flax Seed Gel Buttercream. That is what is in my hair. Um, I washed with it. I mean, did a wash day with it one wash day. I took it down the very next day. And that very same, no, I wore it for two more days, two more days. And then the night of the second day, I took my hair and I used a quarter sized amount, if that, of the Max Hydration Leave-In Conditioner from them and just retwisted. And so it's now been the second day of that. Like, it's, it's my wash day. It's the day I would typically wash my hair. But do you think I'm about to mess this up? No, ma'am. I'm gonna come in just a little bit so you can see how it's holding up. Um, I know a lot of you have struggled with your deliveries coming on time and communication issues and I mean, a lot of that has not gone perfect for me either. Don't get me wrong. But the results just cannot be beat. They just cannot be beat. I ask you to just be patient. Um, if you have hair similar to mine, just, just be patient. It's worth it. So, again, here is the definition from that hair. And, again, I took the twist down and maybe separated it to some, some places three times. I pulled it apart and I took my fingers like so and just fluffed it out to give it a little bit of volume and here I am and this is the sixth day so as you can see it is holding up so well still super shiny tons of definition like I guess just to kind of get it to mess up. I'm gonna sleep tonight with, um, I'm gonna sleep a few nights with no twisting, no retwisting and probably no bonnet just to dry it out so I can have an excuse to wash it because I just know if I keep up with the upkeep, this will continue to last. All right, y'all, I've been talking almost 10 minutes. Um, I do still work out daily, so I sweat really, really bad in my hair. So this is what happens at the roots. You can see how it gets all puffy and thick and dry looking where it starts to look like new growth. That is what I experience. And so um, I do not play about keeping that sweat and grime on my scalp for too long. So I will uh, rewash it. But this, I, I'm sorry, this is just going to go another day. I have an apple cider, apple cider vinegar a spray that I use from a new company that I start using. You'll see that probably in the shampoo video. And um, I'll just kind of rub that through my scalp to try to keep, you know, get some of that sweat and dirt off the scalp. This, this honey, this, this hair just, I'm not messing this up. All right, now, here we are. Okay, not in any particular order, you guys. The first one is Curls Dynasty. This is the Kalahara Smoothie Leave-In. Yeah, that's what it's called. Oh, light. Come on now. You probably have all seen this one. You don't see me use it much, but I use it a lot. Um, this particular one has been used probably once, maybe twice, but I probably have three of these. So good. Like they go really, really well with her uh, other line of products, but they also, it also works fantastic with any any product, so, so good. Uh, super duper moisturizing. It doesn't have water, it's aloe juice based. So it has aloe juice, 
coconut oil, shea butter, behindramonium methosulfate, satira oil, and organic soybean oil. Tons of other great oils and extracts in here. There's a silk protein. It's just phenomenal. And I'm not a big coconut oil fan. The second ingredient here is coconut oil, but I think it's just the blending of the coconut oil with the other ingredients just makes it such a great formulation that I have no problem with it. Very, very good. Um, it's kind of thick, not, so you see here, let's see if I can get at least some inkling. I don't want to go through and have to show all of these, y'all, because you know I'll be talking forever. So it's kind of coming down, but when I let go of the bottle, it kind of sucks back up. So it's kind of, kind of a medium to thick consistency, but a sure, sure winner every time. Here is Ajoui Naturals. This is called Almond Coconut Leave-In Conditioner. And it is, it features almond oil, coconut milk, and coconut oil as well. This company, and most of you probably have heard of it, it is a sister company to She Sent It and Gorgeously Kinky and uh, Curl Origins. And there's another company, but they're all sister companies, same, same people. And so it says for soft and hydrated hair, have a couple of these. That's why this one is brand new and haven't been used. I bought these on a um, anniversary sale one time and so glad that I got multiple ones. I just read the ingredients and I just had the feeling it was going to be good. And again, all of these companies in this video, I'm going to say this, are 100% all natural ingredients and 100% small business black owned every single one of them. That just fills me up. That just feels amazing. So um, the first five ingredients here, you guys, are water, chamomile, extract, behindramonium, methosulfate. No, no, sorry, back up. Water, maricaria, matricaria extract. It almost looks like a chamomile recutity. Y'all, don't let me start messing up. Okay, water, um, mer metro carrier extract, behindramonium, methyl sulfate, satiro alcohol, and glycerin. And again, it also contains uh, sweet almond oil, coconut milk. It has a coconut, cocoa butter, and coconut oil, avocado oil, aloe vera extract. So tons of other goodies in here, but super moisturizing. It is not as thick as the leave-in. I mean, as the um, Curls Dynasty leave-in. So it has like a thick, milky consistency, but again, penetrates instantly into the hair. If you have low porosity hair and you have trouble with um, leave-in absorbing into your hair, you won't with this. Are they even still around, y'all? I don't even know. I hope so. Okay, I'm gonna keep going because this is getting too lengthy already. Here is Honey's Handmade. This is the kids line from Honey's Handmade, the Banana Dream Leave-In Styler. This is another leave-in that is spectacular. Um, and I believe that is still there. They only have a few kits, few items in their kids line and I love every single product in that kids line more than anything else. I don't know why. Um, well, for one, they're thicker and I believe they tend to just have more butter, but my hair loves all of these. Even when one of the other products are like, okay, they're okay. All of these are so good. And this has, this is a new bottle. It used to be in the taller, skinnier bottle. Y'all, hmm, can't see this one, wait. Water, shea butter, cocoa butter, sweet almond oil. I can't see the rest, but you know, um, Honey's Handmade. Simple, to the point, excellent ingredients, and so a winner for sure. Um, if they ever run that on sale, I typically stock up. I already have a couple. This one hasn't been used. Um, very, very good. Camille Rose, this is their lavender whipped cream leave-in. Don't see a whole lot of people talking about this. Um, I remember when this line first came out and I wanted, and I got the entire, um, all the products in the line, but this leave-in is super awesome. It is probably my favorite thing out of the line. It's just extra, extra hydrating. Again, more of a, um, thick, creamy, consistency 
Uh, definitely not that super milky one. It has some, uh, let's see, water, glycerin, behendromonium, methyl sulfate, satyro alcohol, and acetyl alcohols are the first few ingredients, but it has linseed oil, jojoba oil, castor oil, uh, rosemary leaf extract, olive oil, lavender fragrance, you know, preservatives. Very, very good. So if you see this, ever see it on clearance, on sale, they um, run that, you can trust that lavender one. That is very good. And since we're going to talk about that, I'm going to also throw this one in here, the Curl Love Moisture Milk. I get a lot of super duper good results using this as a leave-in. I've seen some people use this as a styler. I can throw this on as a leave-in on wash day. And again, I can use it as a midweek refresher by itself. Just throw it on top of dry hair and retwist. Works really, really good. This is really nice and thick. It has uh, features rice milk and macadamia oil. Uh, first few ingredients, water, behendromonium, methyl sulfate, satiro alcohol, avocado oil, rice bread oil. I love all of those oils. But this also has some macadamia oil, green tea, uh, rice milk, rose hip seed oil. What else do I see? Slippery M. Yeah, it has... Um, it has a ton of slip in it as well. And so all these that I'm gonna tell you, you guys do have uh, preservatives in them. Most of them have that phenoxyl ethanol ingredient as the preservative, which is a very good one. So I find that that is popular and it, it lasts forever. A lot of these products are really old, but I did get this um, Camille Rose one Black Friday when they had that sale. Had to just get a couple more of these. So it calls it a softening leave-in conditioning cream with light notes of macadamia nut and vanilla. Perfect description. I can dare do that any better. So let me know. I know some people who say they haven't had the best luck with that um, milk. I, I couldn't use it as a styler alone, but my hair loves it as a leave-in. Okay, here's a beat up jar of, and I talked about this before in a more recent video. This is the leave-in from the low porosity line for Bo Peep, B-E-A-U-P-E-E-P. -E 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 and this one is called Radiance. And uh, this particular company is a uh, Ayurvedic care company. She uses Ayurveda in all of her products. Um, and you have to kind of find one that is not too strengthening because I'm finding and not with her so much but some Ayurvedic companies there's so much of it in there that it tends to just be a little bit more strengthening than I like it can lean more toward protein um, kind of strength but this I'm not going to try to read it as you can see I've had this for a while it has all just about faded off um so can I find anything water infused with slippery elm it has brahmis fenugreek horsetail bring rash nettle grapeseed oil ginseng extract couple other things but this is so good it has like a and you can almost see that it has the color of the like I, this is what I would expect it to be with so many Arabic ingredients in it I'm just gonna show it to you here so it's like a thick creamy product but it does have that if you are mixing up some of those Arabic ingredients to me and add it to a white cream this is just what I anticipate that it would look like very very good and i know you can't see it but it is thick and it you get a big glob of it i usually have to take the cap off to get it off rub it into your hands so emulsify it rub it into your hair completely emulsifies just soaks in very very nicely so excellent excellent one if you need something with a little bit little bit of strengthening in your wash day i always reach for that especially after a night when I've slept in my deep conditioner. I always go to that. And speaking of a good hair milk that is a good leave-in um, meal organics, I haven't used any of their new stuff. All that, I don't even know about all the new things that have gone out because I still just enjoy these plain old basic original products. This moisturizing avocado hair milk um, is one of my faves to use from them. They say you can use it as a daily moisturizer. Uh, and that it hydrates dry, thirsty hair. It is water and aloe juice. 
acetyl alcohol, behendromonium, methyl sulfate, glycerin. There's rice oil. There's organic uh, avocado oil, horsetail. I'm trying to read y'all. Lavender extract, panthenol, jojoba oil, honey, just tons and tons of good hydrating ingredients in here. And so the list is a little bit long, and but I don't see anything that throws off, that just, you know, sets off any whistles for me. It does have a little bit of protein and it. it has that hydrogenated wheat protein. Just very good. Everybody knows about this one. It's been around forever, but if you ever want to know how it does, it definitely has my approval. I really like that. I also love the Lavish Leave-In Conditioner by Mish. This one works really good for my hair. Had this one also for forever, and I don't need to say much about them. Everybody knows uh, Mish. This contains aloe vera, avocado oil, uh, aloe juice, acetyl alcohol, shea butter, that's castor oil, it has yarrow leaf extract, it has lots of different extracts in it. Um, but this is one of my go-tos. This is just another one of those thick ones. Thick, 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 look at that, all that. It hasn't moved. Okay. You can't see how thick it is, but it is a thick, thick, creamy one. But, um, and a little goes a long way with this one. Don't be fooled <laughs> like some leave-ins I can go in with and not have any problems I feel like I can I can make my hair too mushy if you use too much of this so start sparingly with this and then kind of work your way up don't make the mistake of just globbing it on because you're used to using other leave-in conditioners like that very good one as well here's a super super duper lightweight one and I included this only because it's she since it's cocoa cream leave-in I hardly ever use this. I use this leave-in when I am going to um, straighten my hair. If I'm gonna blow it out for a trim, cause that's usually all I'm blowing it out for, I always use this. It's just so lightweight and it gives your hair some moisture, but it's just so light and fluffy and I just love the way it makes my hair feel. It said it aids in moisture retention. It has organic botanical con conditioning Wait a minute. Organic Botanicals Condition Hair restores supplement restores suppleness to dry hair with coconut cream and panthenol. All these mistakes are staying. I do. There's no way I have time to edit all these videos. So whatever comes out of my mouth, that's what you're gonna get. So uh, this is water infused with elderflower, calendula, horsetail, yarrow, behendromonium, methyl sulfate, satyral alcohol. It has coconut cream, shea butter, metal foam seed oil, silk peptides, sea kelp extracts, um, and panthenol. Very, very good. It is, you see that? It is like a thick, milky conditioner. But I feel like when I use one of those other uh, conditioners like I'm talking about here on a day when I'm blowing it out, it just weighs it down too much. This gives it enough softening, conditioning, but doesn't weigh it down. Just super duper lightweight. And so I really like this. It's just about the only time I use this. Or if I am had a wash day and it's somewhere during the week and my hair is starting to dry out, and again, I need something but don't want to add any um a cream styler and i don't want to use one of these heavier leave-ins this is something you can add to it that i almost in my mind feel like it's water i, I almost treat it just like that i take it out and put it in my hand just to i feel like i'm just re-wetting my hair almost with that it's just that lightweight so that is that uh, honey, it's a big, it's a three in one. This is Annabelle's leave in that is love this jar. I always keep one of these on board. This has water infused with Manuka honey. Uh, it has chamomile flour, macadamia oil, sweet almond oil, babassu seed oil, behendromonium methyl sulfate, acetyl alcohol, satyro alcohol, jojoba oil. You know the one thing, I don't know if you all have caught this, the three ingredients that are in every one of these um, leave-ins that work for me, behendromonium methyl sulfate, satyro alcohol, and acetyl alcohol. That has been in every 
single one of these. Those are just good conditioning emulsifiers and any other extra oils and butters people add on top just is just icing on the cake. But those are the three that I find in all of my absolute favorite leave-ins. And so um, this one is like a medium consistency. Anybody can use this, but it's just that honey in this, I believe that makes it so super duper um, hydrating and I just can always get good results with this and I can use it the same way wash day midweek it's just a light smooth feeling cream that just you can add in anytime and it will just it, it dries fast because it's just mostly water but it just it works so well so so good and here is the Max Hydration Leave-In Conditioner by Product Junkie Naturals that I was talking about earlier that I actually used to refresh this hair. I just took this conditioner right on top of dry hair, rubbed it in, and retwisted it. And you know, honey, this is thick. All, all of our products are thick. And this one is a little scary because it's so thick, um, as is the other milks that I didn't bring out. But you know, she has several milks that... Um, I treat as leave-ins as well. That honey and hibiscus one. There's one to the rosemary green tea um, product. That's a milk. There's one. To, almost all of her mainstay lines have a milk now. And they are thick, 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 thick. Probably most of you can use it as a uh, styler. But I use it as a leave-in and it's still just... It's so uber thick. I can put it on my hand here, turn it over and it won't fall, but it just absorbs into my hair so well. And so that's what this one does. This one is, uh, this one has water and aloe juice, rice oil, avocado oil, vehendromonium methosulfate, cetyl alcohol, panthenol, tocopherol. This one doesn't have the satyro alcohol. Interesting. Just made me out of a lie. I just said all of them had that, but this one does not. But it does have the mainstays and just terrific, terrific anytime. Love that this is coconut oil free. I, I not a huge, huge fan of coconut oil, but most of our products do still have some in it. I don't go to this because it's coconut oil free, but I do love that she cannot use it and still make a hell of a moisturizing leave in. Love that so much. And, oh, here's one of my fave faves that I just do not talk about often because it's one of those refrigerated ones. The Curl of Essence Aloe Matcha Green Tea Leave-In with Ginger and Honey from Curl of Essence. And again, it's one of those Black-owned companies that had a few struggles. People were having shipping issues, communication issues, and my heart breaks for these people who are so gifted and have such a gift and make amazing products and just run into, you know, life issues, things happen. And, and it's heartbreaking when I hear people, you know, have just had so many, so much trouble out of them. And maybe I've just been fortunate, but I, I don't mind the waiting. I know I've ordered something. I keep tabs of the fact that I ordered something so that I will get it. But I do understand that they're small. Usually they're doing it one or two people trying to run the whole business and it just can get out of hand especially when you run a sale and you get you, you get so boxed in with volume that you can barely see above water but this is an excellent product as is all of her products almost everything i've tried i've loved but this little light green um conditioner it has to be kept in the refrigerator it says to refrigerate it i had one that i did not put in the refrigerator accidentally and it was just it was just fine. Um, so take that for what it's worth. And I used every, every drop of it. But this is aloe juice, honey, distilled water. Uh-oh, it's starting to fade on me. I can't see. Aloe gel, shikakai, moringa, olive oil, vitamin E. There's something else I can't make out. And then the Germol Plus as a preservative. So Another one of those that just a little bit will do. So freaking hydrating. Like this is those that I look at and think, no butters at all. Not one single solitary butter. Not thick at all, but thick enough. Like look at this. But my hair loves, loves this stuff. You only need a little bit. It lasts 
forever. So if this ever runs on sale, do like me and get you two or three. You will not regret it. You're going to put this on your hair and think, oh dear God, where have I been? So definitely try this. Do yourself a favor. Let's if you got your products for before, we're going to let bygones be bygones and try again. This is so worth, <laughs> so worth the risk of trying to get it again. That's excellent. And last two, you guys, I promise. Here is a hydrating leave-in treatment I got from a company called Pistachio Wonders. Here is another small black-owned company that ran a sale and it got completely out of control. People were not getting orders. There was just so much lack of communication. There were issues. It, it just turned into a mess. But she ran a um, anniversary sale where all of her products was $7. I'd never even tried her products before. But $7 and after I read the ingredients, I was like, I can, I can, I can risk $7, a, a few $7 to try some products. And I have not tried many of the products. Uh, she has the aloe vera soap that I used. That was not $7, but it was fantastic. Aspect. Oh my gosh, it feels like rubbing silk on your body. Another video. But this, as you can see, this is kind of where she ran into problems. She wasn't, you know, didn't have bottles, didn't have labels. So it ended up being like just a label on a bottle. This is kind of what she ended up having to do to get the products out. But this stuff is so good. I'm whispering. And for those of you who know when I whisper, it's serious business. This is so good. I put this up with my... Look, I'm looking for something comparable, you guys. Um, I'm going to say this is like... This. It's, it's this kind of good. Like, it's... And this is one of my top three. I can say that for sure. That I know for sure. This is this is up there. And so it's heartbreaking when you look at it because it looks like she just got started. It doesn't have the ingredients on it. It just says for product descriptions, please visit the website. Oh, Pistachio Hair and Body Wonders. That's the name of it. So if you want to look at this, Pistachio Hair and Wonder. Lord, here I go. Let's try this again. Take three. Pistachio Hair and Body Wonders.com. So, Hair and Body Wonders. And so, you'll be able to find all of her uh, products there. But, like, they regularly ran about 20 something dollars. This was $7. Oh my God. I'm so, so happy I got this. And so, this is kind of what it looks like kind of a medium to thick consistency. I can't even tell you what's in it. I read the ingredients before I bought it, so I know they're good. But, this blew me away. So impressed with that. So if you've not heard of Pistachio Hair and Body Wonders, then follow them on Instagram. Um, I don't even know if she has a website email list that you can follow, but if so, do that. You might want to keep an eye out, read some reviews, and then make your own um, decision. But I love that stuff. I loved it. Okay, and the last one is Camille Rose's Coconut Water Leave-In Penetrating Hair Treatment. This is another one that just, top three. So good to me. This is so, so good to me. Um, from their Coconut Water line. I remember when they first uh, did this Coconut Water line, it only had about three products in it for a long, long time. But now they've expanded it and, you know, have like a whole line of products. This is very good. I like this more than I like the the um, curl milk, the curl love milk. This says it is a concentrated leave-in treatment for shiny, silky, soft hair. I bought this originally when I was trying to master that wash and go, and I needed something super hydrated that I knew was going to keep my hair soft and moisturized before I put that oil on top. But that also was not going to leave a cast, not going to you know dry out before I could get the the gel on, and that would you know, let me go a few days being able to wear that. And that is how I started with this. And once I stopped trying to do that wash and go thing, then I just use this anytime. If I'm trying a new styler and I'm not sure exactly how it's going to go, always, always default by using a good hydrating leave-in. That'll, that, that gets you 50% of the way right there. And so this is just excellent. That, that has been my experience with it. 
And, you know, as with all of these, you're going to find people who like it, those who do not. You can have my exact same texture of hair and it still not work as well for you. But these, these have been my experiences. This has a silky texture that combines coconut water with penetrating natural oils to provide maximum moisture and shine in a lightweight, non-greasy formula. Agreed. Apply to wet or dry hair for extreme moisture, soft and tangle free hair. Also agreed. That is the other thing. Just, when I read that, it just reminded me how detangling this is. Just helps detangle like a brick. In fact, you guys, that's the one thing I didn't say about all of these. And all of these are very detangling. It They just provide so much slip for you to be able to just um, separate your hair, whatever you're trying to do. If you're trying to style it, if you're trying to use it as a leave-in, it's just super, super uh, detangling. And so this has water, coconut water, satiro alcohol, acetyl alcohol, behydromonium methyl sulfate, coconut fruit extract, marshmallow extract, hemp seed oil. It does have shea butter. It has grapeseed oil, camellia, oh, green tea leaf extract, sunflower seed oil. You get the picture. And then there's the preservative. Um, this is so good. Soft, silky just go such a long way. You only need a little bit of this one. Go so, so far. I remember using this in that trial of the uh, wash and go phase and remembered trying to be sure my hair had enough conditioner in it by, you know, using more than the typical amount for leave-in, what I would call a generous amount. And I ended up having curls in my hair but it was too soft. Even with that hard, hard wet line gel, my hair ended up too soft because I had used too much leave-in and the softness of the leave-in overwhelmed the hold from the gel. Now that's saying something. Like that was saying something. It ended up, that gel can always give you definition and hold. And it, it was so super soft that the style didn't last me any time because it just wasn't enough hold. So you can definitely overuse these. All right, you guys, that's it. So those are my top hydrating leave-ins. That is not all of my leave-ins. Those are the top hydrating leave-ins that I possess. I'm sure there are a ton of others. And I absolutely hope that if you have some that you've used that are super hydrating that you love that I have not named, please list them below. We would all love to learn from you as well. And so don't be shy. I love uh, being able to share the things that I have with you all, but I love it even more when you share back with me because I learned so much from you as well. And so that's what I want for uh, um, this space. I'm not here to just preach and tell people what they should do. This is just a little safe space for all of us. So do share your favorite hydrating leave-ins. We cannot wait to share those with you. And if you have any questions about anything that I have said here or any product names or brands that you didn't catch, drop those in the comment section and I will um, try to answer what I can for you as quick as I can for you. But thank you so much for being here. I'm so sorry this video is so long. I promise as I'm doing my stash of videos, I am not going to try to get into as much detail. I'm just going to try to show them to you and give you a brief synopsis and then um, just keep going because there's just too many to give this level of detail. I'll never get through them all. But I heard you about wanting to see those stash videos and I can do that. I did not know what I was going to be recording now that I'm back and since I don't do my hair as much, but showing you the new stash would be an excellent idea because I've gotten rid of so many, I've thrown away tons, I've donated so many, and so what I have left is what I really, really love. And so that is what I want you to uh, gain from these. So do give me a thumbs up on this video if you enjoy learning about products and um, the, the different ones that I am using and loving and I don't know what should be next guys what do you what do you want me to record next about uh, what's what stash area I'm gonna do them separately you know the conditioners in one the shampoo is in one the conditioners is gonna be probably five six videos it is out of control there's gonna be a lot of them so I'm just warning you 
I love you guys so much for being here. Thank you again for watching. Let me know if you have any questions. Do subscribe if you have not subscribed before. And I appreciate you all. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.